Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz and this is Liz Arts and Crafts. And today I'm starting a new vlog. These are my favorite videos to film just because they're fun and I like to show you guys my process and just chat along as we crochet together. So what do we have going on today? Well, my shirt is actually a hint. Vincent Van Goen to Michael's. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I need some more colors. I thought I had enough and I made a few swaps and I put like the color swaps I made into Stitch Fiddle and it was atrocious. So I'm not going to try to make any color swap. I'm going to get those colors, but not going to go crazy in the Michael's today. Okay. That's not what we're going to do. all the time in the public parking lot there's like lots of people around i just really don't care at this point because i don't know any anyone i really don't know that many people so um all the time so i just went to michael's and here's the colors i ended up getting so i got yellow fit the bedroom because all i had at home was like neon yellow and i'm literally kicking myself because i donated this color yesterday but i didn't think Oh, I have a 12 color tapestry project. I need to, I should make sure I have all the colors before I donate, but whatever. It's fine. That is the only one I think I donated. And then I got this color, which is like a light green. The only green I had at home was lime. So it was like going to be like pastel yellow. And then the lime green was like beating all the other colors out. And I just didn't know what to replace the green with. And then I got this taupe color. I wonder what they call it. Doesn't even have a name. I hate when they don't name colors. Oh, it does. Coffee. <laughs> so I got coffee. I also got a real coffee. So those, those are the three colors I got. And they're all loops and threads. Not even impeccable, which is my favorite brand. I was shook. I went in there expecting to get some cheap yarn and there was no yarn sale. That's why I went with the Soft Classic. So it's just cheaper. I th like wish I could just buy like a little bit of yarn, you know. I had to get a whole skein, and now so like my do stashing, it's just like immediately backfired. Not backfired, but like I already got new yarn just to use a little bit for the smallest little tapestry. My shirt is actually a hint. We are crocheting a tapestry. So I'm doing a pattern test for Kelvin Crochet's Van Gogh painting pattern, um, Bedroom and Aural. So this is it after uh, seven rows. It's looking so cute and I'm almost to a, like a part with more colors so it's going to get like harder but it's coming along really quickly. I've put in 40 minutes of work so far so like five six minutes per row not too bad um and what else is going on? Oh I got the yarn this morning to start this so yes this is going amazing hoping to get this done soon. I don't want to have this become a whip that takes a while because it has so many colors. I want to get through it quickly. 12 is so many colors. So we'll see how long this takes me to do. I'm hoping to finish it in a few days. And then what else is going on? This morning I made this gauge swatch. This is um, a Karen coconut cake. 
I think it's called, and it's in like black slash gray and white. And I'm working on the Hot Mesh Top. This is a pattern called the Hot Mesh Top by Crochet, Crochet by Rianne. Um, and it's working up so quickly and cute. So these are two of the projects I want to show you in this vlog. And yeah, I don't know what else we'll get on to. I'm making amazing progress. So just sorted all my yarn balls. They were not this nice just a minute ago, but all detangled and ready for the next row. Um, these rows are, have so many color changes, but I think I finished the like, floor and now I can start working on the walls and stuff. So it's looking really good. Yeah. So I just finished row 17 I think and we're getting there almost done might be able to finish the main part today Hello, it is Friday, May 17th, like early -ish in the morning, and it's been rainy all day, and I'm just feeling a little slow because of it. The sun is coming out, so it's kind of making me happy. Maybe I'll feel more energized soon, but wanted to give you a little crochet update. Here's progress I made on this hot mesh top. I'm working on the back now. We're making progress. Also, I made this shirt. Like, I used a bleach pen to make this. We should do that again this summer. That'd be fun. Um, so this was the first panel. Here's the second panel. And it's time to work on putting them together.
So I can't remember if I talked about this already, but I'm using a Karen coconut cake. And I'm really lucky because my Michaels essentially had a has a ton of Karen cakes. And they're all like clearance. They're like five or six dollars each. So I thought this would be a good colorway for the summer. It's like just gray and white. It'll look really good with like a colored pink top underneath, I feel like. I'm excited to finish this and style it because I might try to take some pictures today because the pattern test is due in two days, but I have plans this weekend, so I'm going to get this out of the way so it's not late. <laughs> but I'm almost done with it, so I'm good. I think after this I just have to do like the, a little bit around the neckline and the sleeves and then I'll be done. I really hope it fits also. It's looking a little small, even though I did a gauge swatch. Maybe it'll be okay. Time to see if it fits over my head. It doesn't fit over my head, so I'm gonna just frog the last like <laughs> a few rows I did, or like the seams, and add a few more shoulder rows. That's not a big deal. I'm also worried it's going to be too tight, but it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. It's time for the big try on. <laughs> this, oh my god, I was so nervous. I really thought it wouldn't. So many ends to be in. Okay. I'm gonna go sit outside since it's funny now. My mood is up. I eat a snack, sit outside, finish the top, work out, shower, laundry. I'm feeling ambitious for two hours. Maybe I can do like this for 30 more minutes. I talk about how my whip bag matches my project so perfectly. <laughs> or not my whip bag, my life supplies bag, I guess. Once again outside, the dogs are out. This dog is out. Look who got a little haircut. He's looking so handsome. 
He's sunning. <laughs> He's gonna have a good day today, aren't you? Oh. The reality is that, like, this tree is getting pollen all over everything. Thankfully, I'm not, like, ever allergic, but it's, like, getting really messy. But it's a beautiful tree. Okay, so. Plan is to start by weaving in the ends and then doing the arm borders so that after I do the arm borders I'm not stuck with even more ends because I don't know how I have so many with a single color project. I don't really mind it honestly. I feel like of all of the things in crochet it's kind of one of the more enjoyable things. It's been a full hour since I said I would only work for 30 more minutes before starting to work out. But um, I got a lot done. I want to keep going, but I know I should stop and do some other things in my life. But it's looking amazing. I did the neckline and this arm, and all that's left is this arm. And I also weaved in all the ends except the two new ones I made. So let's try it on. Look at that. Maybe she could have done an evener job sewing these two panels together, but she does what she can. She does what she can, okay? It's looking so good. I can't wait to try this on with all my different colored tank tops. I have green one, a lime green one, a blue one, and this maroon one. I really want to get a red one. This would be so cute with red. It would almost be Cruella DeVille hits the beach. Oh my God, I have a red like bathing suit. Cruella DeVille hits the beach. <laughs> That's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. I'm so happy. I'm like literally so much happier than this morning when it was cloudy out. Look at this. What do you guys think of this top? What do you think of this color? You know, it's like, fuzzy <laughs> so one time I made a fuzzy top and someone commented like fuzzy gorilla chest <laughs> and I was like oh and once your crochet stretches it never unstretches you guys so I don't say make things small but don't make them too big it is now Monday May 20th and I didn't I did not vlog I didn't vlog over the weekend um, because I had um, I wasn't crocheting much and I had like, people over so like family I didn't want to like vlog <laughs> um, but I did get a little bit of craft time in so first thing is I finished this I just had that one sleeve Oh yeah, I last clip I was like, I'm gonna finish this today in two hours, and my world got flipped upside down, and I had to like get ready faster than I thought, so I ended up not finishing that this that day, but the next day, and super cute. Um, I'll show you this more in a second. Then I finished. It. You're like, what is this? <laughs> um. What do you mean you finished this? I started and finished this purse. Um, this was like I was watching this like late at night when we were all just sitting around watching TV. It's so cute. I made this with acrylic yarn. These are each um, the 
I think it's a, the a looped in thread acrylic, not the impeccable, but the like other acrylic classic, I think. And I did a one by one stripe. And this only took me two days. How cute is this? So I do want to add a lining because my keys pop out. I don't have a lining in it, but otherwise I think I did a good job. I free handed it and like cute. I wanted to make a more neutral version of my orange and green one. And we're calling this the everyday sleigh purse. So maybe I'll make another one of these. And I'll film it next time I need. He isn't so happy. And then, no progress on this, but this is the bedroom in Arl I showed you at the beginning. I'm gonna, the last thing I'm gonna do in this vlog is finish this. And then I think I'll be satisfied with this vlog. Um, all we need to do is add a border and block it. So I'll do that today or tomorrow and get this done by the end of the week.
Isn't it cute? I love the colors I went with. Very pop art. So, yeah. It's really easy to do this, like, pattern. Um, I've done cutout tapestries once before for my, like, animal cutouts, but it was fun to try it again. It would be cool to, like, put magnets in the fingers and also the purse so that when you shut it, like, they all five sh shut. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I should do that. That's exciting. And then I have this still, so I'm going to work on adding a border to this finally. It's been, like, two weeks since I made it. So cute that I have some brown yarn and the Calvin crochet pattern has, like, the border in it. I'm going to try the border that's in the pattern. Look how perfect it looks with this border. Like what? Looks so good. Mm -hmm. So feeling really confident and cute. Here's my handbag too. What cute little makes so. All I have to do is block this, but the border really settles it down. So happy. So happy with my mates. So in this vlog, I made this, this, and also the mesh top. And I told you about the knit purse I made, so <laughs> kind of a productive vlog. These two, I think, go well together because they're like artsy. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to this vlog. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe down below. I post new videos every Thursday, so you can get more content like this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and um, tune in next time. See you soon. Bye.